Alright, hey everybody, Mayo here, and today we're playing some Pokemon, doing our VGC prep with our Paris Trap team still. Not sure when I'm going to try changing the team up. I'd like to hit 1600 before I change the team, but I don't know, I might change it sooner than that. Uh, I don't know, music 20. It's just kind of... Kind of getting boring, I guess, to me. Maybe it's just because I can't use it well yet. That's probably it. So I just need to, to buckle through it. Buckle down and get through it. Alright, 1485, United States, New York. What is that? Like the, uh, I want to say Electabuzz, but I don't know if that's right. In the top left, and then there's a Talonflame, and an Amoongus, and a Gengar, and a Suicune, and a Salamence. Um, you know, I'm guessing he'd lead Gengar, Amoongus, and Salamence as his Mega. Uh, I'm going to lead Gengar, Amoongus myself. If that's the case. Or I could lead Gengar, Scrafty, and just go for a knockoff on the... No. Maybe. No, I don't want to lead Scrafty. I don't want to bring Scrafty, I don't think. I don't think he'll do well. Gothitelle and Politoed. I don't want to bring Politoed because of the the electric type, but I think it'll be okay. I think this will be okay. Like that's the only thing that really threatens my Politoed. I think. Yeah, besides the Amoongus, but I'm not too worried about. It. So there's two things that threaten my Politoed: the electric type and the Amoongus. Um, Politoed can deal with pretty much everything else though on the team. Oh, let's let's hope I I did well. Let's hope I did well on picking and my lead. I mean, I guess I could have led with... If I if I was predicting that lead, I could have just led with Rotom. Okay, he leads with Amoongus Suicune. So I could have led like Rotom and Scrafty or something. Okay, I'm just going to go for a Mega... I think a Parish Song right off the bat is what I want to do. And then I think I want to put to sleep the Suicune. I think that's what I would like to do here. Hopefully I made the correct choices and we shall see. Once this guy makes his moves that is. Any minute now. Oh, and he's taking his time. He is concentrating, figuring out what he wants to do. And I just like dove right into my moves and just picked them. Just like didn't even think that much about it. The opposing Amoongus used protect. Okay, that's not gonna really matter. I would have thought he would have put my Gengar to sleep or something. Suicune uses Scald. I should live that. Suicune fell asleep. Alright. Awesome. Um, I may as well just... I could disable the Scald. I don't really need to. I'm just going to protect here. And then I guess go for a Giga Drain on Suicune. I mean, I could protect, but I don't think he's going to target my Amoongus. I just want to see how much a Giga Drain will do on a Suicune. Suicune, you sleep talk. Suicune, you... Okay. I can disable that this turn then. Okay, Sleep Talk Rest Suicune. Oh, that didn't did not see that coming. I'll be honest with you guys. Did not see that at all. Uh, let's go ahead and disable that though. We don't want to deal with that. Giga Drain hardly did anything. Um Let's just Let's just Giga Drain again. I don't see a reason not to. Sleep Talk is now disabled. 
get that Giga Drain off. It does a good chunk. It does it does better damage than I thought it would do. There's the Citrus Berry, but it's not going to matter because you are stuck in a Parish Trap. Okay, Gengar is now put to sleep. That kind of that kind of sucks, but that's all right. That's all right. Um, we can switch out into Gothitelle here, and I don't think he'll target my Amoongus with like a Giga Drain or anything. So I'm gonna go for Politoed because he doesn't know what else I brought. Uh, hopefully he doesn't think I brought the Politoed. I mean, he could predict that though. I don't think he will though. There, they're still trapped in, can't get out, they're gonna go down. Parish Song's gonna get rid of those two. Amoongus uses Spore. Okay, that's fine, that's not a big deal, that's just my trapper. Kinda sucks that I can't use, you know, some moves on Gothitelle, but as long as I can get Parish Song off, that's okay. I figured that would happen, so I'm glad I didn't put Politoed in that spot. Salamence. Is, ooh, it's a shiny Salamence. Oh man, and an electric type? Okay. Um, I'm just gonna do Thunder Wave on the Salamance. Um, I think protecting with Politoed's pretty obvious. So I'm just gonna go for the Parish Song. I hope I can get it off. And I don't think he'll double into my Politoed if he does target it. So I mean, what would I do? I. Yeah, I'd probably protect the Salamance and then target Politoed with the other the other thing with you know an electric type move. Okay, and I do live that. Thank you, bulky Politoed. We can get that Parish song off. Alright, and we should be able to get the victory now that we got the Parish Song off. I don't think there's really much of a way that we can lose. Let's Thunder Wave Salamance and protect here. Hyper Voice protected myself from that. Thunder Punch. On to Gothitelle. Not quite enough to KO though. Get some leftovers. Might as well protect with Gothitelle in case she wakes up. Um. You know, there's not much my Politoed can do here. He's not going to go first before, like, the uh, Electro thing. So I'm just going to protect. I mean, I might get a double protect off. I might not. I don't think it really matters that much. Okay, it failed. I just didn't feel like it would matter that much what I, whatever I did with Politoed. Because, yeah, he's going down. I could have switched him out. Thunder Punch, but it failed. All right, the Parish Count goes down to one, and all I need to do now is just protect with the Moongus and Gengar, and I win. Because like, there's nothing I need to really do besides protect. 
So why not? Protect. Who knows if Gengar will wake up and protect again with the Moongus. Even if he like... KOs my Gengar, it's not going to matter. Moongus will pick up the win here. Ice Punch, among his protected itself, the rain has stopped, and then the Parish Count drops down to zero. See you later, Salamance. Electro thing. Alright, got rid of that too. There we go. I mean, was a 2-0, wasn't, wasn't as clean as I would have liked it to be, but that's fine. That is fine. Don't need to save the battle. We're able to pick up the win. And then let's go ahead and continue battling and get into our second battle. Still using that party. Still using that party. Challenge. Uh, let's just change the music to 21. Alright. 15, 55. Number of battles, 16. Wins, 10. Losses, 6. Let's see how well we do against our next opponent. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to switch Rotom Heat out for like a Raichu. That's right. Oh, but I don't know if I want to do that at the same time because then Gengar and Raichu, like, Earthquakes will kill them. Huh, do I want to use Raichu? Maybe Whimsicott instead. All right. Let's go ahead and lead with um I'm thinking Politoed Gothitel this time. And then I'll bring a Moongus Gengar in the back. That's what I'm thinking. That Charizard makes me want to bring Politoed. Do I want to lead with... Maybe I don't want to lead with Politoed, though. Here, I, I think, actually, you know what? Maybe this is what I want to do. Gengar, Scrafty, Gothitelle, Politoed in the back. Uh, I figure he'll lead with, like, Charizard, maybe. And then Mega, and then I can just switch out into Politoed and bring the rain, get rid of the sun. That might do better. Unfortunately, I can't put anything to sleep, though, with the Moongus, and I don't have a... Giga Drain for that Rotom Wash. Um, I think it'll still be okay though. But it looks like it could potentially be. There's. I mean, he does have three, like. Hmm. Cresselia. I mean, it could set up Trick Room, but I just don't think it will. Like, it could though with that team. But I still don't think it will with that team. Looking at the team, I'm gonna guess no. I mean, it could just be a bulky Cresselia. It doesn't have to have Trick Room, but... <clears throat> Let's see here. What is he going to send out? Charizard and Landorus. Okay. Gengar and Scrafty. That's fine. That's fine. Not a big deal. Um, here's what I want to do though. I want to go for the Mega Parish Song and I want to fake out the Landorus. The Landorus scares me more than the Charizard because it has access to that Earthquake and that could kill my Gengar when he's Mega since he doesn't have that Levitate ability anymore. I mean, I could have maybe just not mega but I don't want to do that. That's lame. I want to see that that animation. <coughs> That's fine. Scrafty used fake out. Fakes out that Landorus. Gengar gets that Parish Song off. Uh, then I need to switch out my Scrafty for Politoed.
Oh man, that get, that did a lot. We're gonna protect here. Scrafty, send Scrafty, make it rain, please. And you can't switch out that Charizard, man. Gengar uses Protect. <clears throat> Landris does use Earthquake. It's gonna hurt my Politoed, but that's about it. And Politoed can take that up pretty easily. I'm gonna have to disable that Earthquake, I think. I think I'm gonna have to disable the earthquake. I hope it's like a choice thing. And then let's go for a scald on that Charizard. <clears throat> Charizard uses protect, dang, I should have ice beamed it. Oh man. Oh, Landorus uses earthquake before my Gengar gets that disable off. Didn't see that one come, and I'll be honest with you guys. Dang. That's fine. I can protect here. I can double protect. Get rid of these two. They're still trapped in. Protect. Protect. Alright, man. What would that thing be? Uh, choice Scarf, then? If it's... I think that's the one that makes them fast. The Landers has to be Choice Scarf, then if I outsped my Mega Gengar. So I thought I could disable that Earthquake and not have to worry about it. But that was not the case. Whatever, doesn't matter. I'm protected. Alright, there we go. Don't have to worry about that Mega anymore. But he got rid of my Mega too, unfortunately. I should have sent out Gothitelle instead. Gothitelle could have easily eaten up that Earthquake, I think. She's pretty bulky. Hydreigon. And Rotom, okay. Um, Let's go for a... That Rotom's gonna... I'm gonna Thunder Wave the Hydreigon, I think. I could try to set up a Parish Song, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm gonna try to. Dark Pulse. Gothitelle, please eat it. That thing's Life Orbed, okay. Thunderbolt, Politoed, I don't know if you're gonna eat that. No, you're not. If you were full HP, you probably could have, though. Thunder Wave on that. I think it's Life Orb. I want to get rid of that Life Orb. Oh, I don't think I'm going to win this one now. I need to drain punch. I'm just gonna Psy Shock that, and then I'm gonna drain punch. I could fake out something here. No, I'm gonna drain punch High Dragon. God! Oh, I suck. It was obvious. I should have faked out the Rotom. Ah, oh, it was so obvious. I just lost because of it too now. Um, I can detect. 
I'm just gonna, I don't know what to do. Scratch to use detect, maybe Hydragon will get paralyzed a bunch. But the citrus berry, oh man, I lost this. I think I should have sacrificed my... Yeah, I just lost. There's no, I should just forfeit this one. It's a close match, but I think I messed up. I think I should have sacrificed my um, Scrafty. Instead of let Politoed go down, maybe. Yeah, we can go ahead and forfeit. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to pick up the win there. I just need to save this battle, see where I messed up. Could have been letting my Gengar go down also. I could have switched that out into my other uh, Trapper, Gothitel. So we'll go ahead and save that. I'll review it later, figure out what I did wrong. But I'm guessing it was letting Gengar go down. Because Gengar could have probably dealt with that Rotom. Oh well, it happens. Not a big deal. Uh, do you want to continue battling? No, we're okay. That was our two battles of the day. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, go to that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And goodbye, friends.